to Christ. Final Come champion, final. to Christ. Final champion, final champion. It's time to come to Jesus. It's a new day. You got breath in your lungs, a beat in your heart. You got no excuse. Worship is still a privilege. And it's time to come to Jesus while you got life inside. There is no repentance in the grave. I heard him say, come to him. I heard him say, choose him. While this time. I heard him say, go and tell the people about me. That I am the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And this is a season that we're celebrating him as the light of the world. It is the time when God implanted himself in the womb of Mary, the virgin, and he brought to pass the prophecy where it said the virgin shall conceive with child and she shall bear a son and you will call his name Jesus. I heard him say, Jesus loves you, love. You know that, don't you? Angels all around you, you know that. Yes. Yes. Yes, he does. I heard him say, come to him while there's time. Was she walking about me? I heard him say, come to him while it's time. Know him. He said, let there be light in the beginning. For in the beginning was God. In the beginning was God. You see a lot of things coming up where they're trying to push evolution. And they're trying to push this and push that theory. And say it came from slime and slop. Some slime and slop in space. And it formed into a monkey. And the monkey evolved. And all this rubbish about evolving from monkeys. Anybody's auntie and uncle, the gorilla? Anybody's found distant family is a monkey? Rubbish. The, the theory of evolution is rubbish. I heard him say, go and tell the people that I am the light. Jesus loves you, peace, Lord. I am the light. Yesterday was the beginning of Hanukkah, Hanukkah, or Chanukkah. It's where we celebrate Jesus Christ as the light of the world. The seven lights on the menorah represents the seven spirits of God. The complete God, the God who had a plan and brought it to fulfillment. He's about to do good things in this season. The fire of God is falling from the throne room. And you've got to tap in to receive. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. You know Jesus loves you, don't you? And you know the angels of the Lord are around you, don't you? Yes, and all of our big people have to become like you to go into heaven. <laughs> Yes, and you have to teach them how. I heard him say, come. Come all this time. Darkness is upon the land once again. And God is saying, let there be light. He said, I am the light of the world. As I am with you on the earth. And he said, you are a light set upon a hill. Shining above a city. That those may see, those who look may see you, and they may glorify your Father in heaven. You are that light. He made you to be that light. He made you to be that light shining in the darkness. That light giving the world hope, giving the world the joys of the Lord, showing them that He is the I am who I am. I heard him say, go and tell the people Spiders, spiders. that there was a dedication of the temple in the days of Zachariah. And Zachariah was visited by an angel, the angel Gabriel, and he said, don't you know that Elizabeth will conceive? That was the cousin of Mary. 
Elizabeth conceived and she bore Yukonan, which is John. And I heard him say, go and tell the people that the messenger had to come before the Messiah. He says, don't you know, before the great and terrible day of the Lord, I will send Elisha. God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The young will dream dreams and the old men will prophesy. I heard him say, go and tell the people that it's time for my spirit to be poured out on the earth. And he will surely do it. He will surely do it. So this is a season where we celebrate the menorah and it represents the seven spirits of God. It represents God himself seated high in glory, bringing to pass, bringing to pass the very things he spoke in the beginning for the end is revealed in the beginning and the beginning and the end. I heard him say, go and tell the people that I am the light. And I'm shining forevermore from glory to glory. His name is Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach in the, in the Hebrew. And he said, I am who I am. I am who I am. No. Jesus loves you. Fire up here. Fire up here. And he said, bring them to me. He said, no one comes to the Father, but through the Son, and no one comes to the Son, unless the Father draws him. The same way that the Spirit of the living God is being poured out on those who desire to be filled up. It's the same way. On all flesh, not some, all. You're all God's creation. Whether you believe in Him or not. Jesus Christ made you. He died for you. He rose again for you. And He's coming back. He's coming back for a people that's ready. He's coming back for a people who's looking for Him. The Bible says, look up because your redemption draw it nigh. When the darkness begins to cloud this world and cloud the earth and you begin to see men walking in lawlessness doing their own thing, yielding to evil. The love of many wax cold. Hearts of men wax cold. They don't care what you obtain, how you obtain it. They want it. And they're coming into your houses. They're going to take it. Satan comes to lie, steal, kill, and destroy. And that's the darkness on the earth. Jesus said, I've come to give you light and, li and life. Life more abundantly. He's come to give you life. Life more abundantly. He said. He said. That in him. Was the light. And the light was the life of men. You got the breath. The Ruach inside of you. And that's the spirit of the living God. Every single one of us. Has the Ruach. The spirit of the living God inside every single one of us. Whether you like it, whether you know it, whether you choose to believe it, it does not change the fact. The truth is not contingent on what you believe. The truth does not need a pillow. The truth does not need uh, you to say, yes, yeah, the truth, to be the truth. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. He stands. He stands all on his own. He's lifted up in glory. He walks among the seven candlesticks and he said, these are the seven spirits of the living God. As he walks upon the seven candlesticks, they light. And he said, be careful. Let they who have ears hear. And the day will have eyes see. He said, I'll start coming and remove your candlestick from your church. Meaning it's going to be a dead church without the spirit of the living God. You see, you can't have the light of God without having the spirit of the living God. It 
comes as a package. It comes as a package. I heard him say, go and tell the people that he is the light. And this is the season where he implanted himself in the womb of Mary and came as our Savior, Jesus Christ. Not everybody is humble to receive God as Jesus. Not everybody can receive this truth inside. But I'm talking to sons and I'm talking to daughters of Yahweh. I'm talking to sons and daughters of the living God. Those whose spirit resounds with the spirit of the living God. Those who drink from the well of heaven and they don't thirst. I'm talking to you. I'm telling you that this is a season for the outpouring of God's spirit. And he said, the spirit of Elisha will come before the great day of God himself. That's right. He wants you to prophesy his words. He wants you to speak your dreams. The word that he's giving you, the rima, the high word. You know it. He called you. You chose to turn your head from him. He said, not me. That's not for me. That's for them. That's for you. If heaven is your home, the word that he placed in your spirit, you have to come out here and give it to the people. You can't ignore God forever. Jonah tried to ignore him. And look what happened to Jonah. Everybody knows the story of the whale. Jonah said, I'm not giving you that. I'm not going to give them that word. Not me. Choose somebody else. And Jonah ended up in a circumstance. In a watery grave. Fire, until he bowed and said, Lord, salvation is of you. I'm going to give them the word. And the whale vomited him out on the, on the land. Fire, fire. So I heard him say, go and tell the people that this is a time of dedication of the temple of God. Not just that Zadok, which is a high priest. Not just that him. Did the dedication of the temple and Zechariah, you know, received the word from the angel by you at the temple of the living God. And God wants you to rededicate yourself in the season. Rededicate yourself in the season to him. Give it to him. He bought it. You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Paid in full by the blood of Jesus. You have pain? Yeah, but last night I from in the city. So Let me pray for you again. What's your name again? Alpasha. Huh? Oh, Radbeer? All right. You're a Hindu? Huh? You're what? You're Hindu? go to church. You go to church? Where do you go? Right here. The Universal. Oh, shucks. I heard him say, you got to come out to the Universal Church, it's a cult. I heard him say, go and tell the people that I am who I am. I am the light of the world, the souls of the earth. If you walk in me, you won't stumble in the darkness. If you walk in me, you're not going to stumble. You see, you've got to desire the truth. Because before any building goes up and you call it church, you are the church. And you got to test the spirits. Try them and see if they're of God. Not if they make you feel nice. Anybody can make you feel nice. Even Satan could make you feel nice. He told Jesus, turn this, this stone into bread and make yourself feel nice. He told him, throw yourself down from the pinnacle of the temple. Angels will catch you. He told Jesus, bow down and worship me and you'll receive the greatest of the kingdoms of the earth. Satan can make you feel nice. If 
any church can make you feel nice. But it's the spirit of the living God that you got to test. You got to test it. You got to know where God is and where the demons are roaming. Jesus bless you. Final up here. You got to test the spirits. Try them and see if they're of God. You're going to know. Your spirit is going to resound with them. The spirits of the living God, the seven spirits. You see in him his fullness of perfection. We beheld the glory of the invisible God in the face of Jesus Christ. God is a spirit and they who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You beheld the glory of the God you couldn't see in the face of Jesus. When he came down, Jesus loves you. You beheld the glory of the invisible God in the face of the manifested Savior. He showed himself to us. But were you really looking? Because if you were looking, you're going to find him. It's time to confess that Yahweh, the great I am, who I am, is Jesus Christ himself. Shema Israel. Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Echad. Yeah, oh, spiritual Israel. For the Lord, he is God. And the Lord is one. He is one. It's him alone. It's Jesus Christ is God, sovereign, on the throne of heaven. It's Jesus Christ come down as the Son of God. It's Jesus Christ gone back out of sight, but as the Holy Spirit, it comes to us. How hard is it? It's not hard. If you're a son and you're a daughter of Yahweh, if you're a son and you're a daughter of the living God, you're going to hear his voice calling you right now. The sheep know the sound of the shepherd's voice and they come it's time to boldly confess it it's time to boldly profess it it's time to boldly declare it because he is from age to age the young got out of holes you know if a boat don't hold an anchor if a boat don't have an anchor it's going to float away well the anchor holds the anchor is rooted it's root to the boat, and the boat ain't going nowhere. Fire is up here. Fire is up here. I heard him say, fire "Come on, to him. This is a beautiful fire time. Fire Just like the temple was rededicated, it's time to rededicate the temple of God, which is your bodies, which is our bodies, a living sacrifice, holy." <laughs> Holy and acceptable unto him. Give yourself unto Christ. Give yourself unto Jesus. Do you have pain in your body? Huh? Do you have pain in your body? Can I pray for you? Huh? You have pain in your body? Sometimes. Can I pray for you? Next time. Next time? You're, you're scared a little bit? Yeah. It's okay. Jesus is revealing it. Can I pray for you? Do you have prayer? Okay. You're good? Jesus Christ said, Don't you know? You are not your own. You are bought at a price paid in full by the blood. I can only offer it. You don't want healing? I can't give it. It comes from heaven's throne. Are you good? You're good? Bless. I heard him say, Come. For the sheep know the sound of the shepherd's voice, and they come. Healing is the children's bread. Fire is up here. Fire is up here. 